So recently I saw Josh McKinder perform his show Colourless Green Ideas at Noodle Palace. Um, now Josh is actually a product of Perth's southern suburbs. Uh, he lives in New York now, which is uh, quite a loss because he's a fantastic stand-up comedian. He's a really funny guy, um, you know, he can do a number of different styles of humour. Um, you know, and his, his show Colourless Green Ideas is a really great showcase for what he can do. Um, you know, Josh is very reminiscent of Richard Pryor for some possibly racist reason that I can't really work out. Uh, he, you know, the way his show is structured, it's essentially him rambling uh, slowly through maybe two or three stories about himself. Um, but what he does to, to punctuate that um, is really just engage with his audience. He talks to, uh, you know, various members of the crowd. In this show, it was a lot of the latecomers. Um, now, just as an aside, I've been seeing a lot of people coming in late to fringe shows, and it's you know it's really quite frustrating. It's possibly because Noodle Palace has been consistently starting and therefore finishing shows late, um, you know. And I think it you know it's if it's not because of um, you know a conflicting show, it's sort of disrespectful to the performer. So you know, cut that out. Um, but anyway, back to Josh. So. What he does is he'll latch on to various members of the audience uh, and ask them a question just about themselves. Um, from there he seems to disregard their response and just sort of go off on some tangent uh, topic of conversation before immediately just locking back to, <laughs> to, the, uh, to the line of questioning. So, you know, it's really quite refreshing. Um, he's a fantastic visual comedian as well as, you know, your basic stand-up. Um, you know, he's, he's got a real... Um, uh, I guess a real way of changing characterization quite quickly. Um, you know, from moment to moment, he'll be, uh, you know, he'll be a leper or the devil or a, a sodomized gnome, uh, <laughs> which was my personal favourite. Um, so yeah, he's uh, he's really quite a remarkable comedian in that he can seem to just just I guess bounce things off the audience and and cover things that are popping into his head at a moment's notice. Now I'd like to see his show again because I'm not, I'd, I'd really like to see how much of it was spontaneously just arriving into his mind and what was actually rehearsed. I suspect that, um, you know, a lot of it is his basic material, um, but he presents it in such a way that it seems off the cuff and, and um, you know, not incredibly scripted. So. Unfortunately, Josh's run at Noodle Palace anyway is finished already. Um, he is going to be in Fremantle at the Sail and Anchor from the 10th to the 15th of February. Uh, I think he's showing around 7 or 7.15, so check that out now. Josh is, um, yeah, he's probably one of my, uh, my favourite, I guess, traditional stand-up comedians. Uh, and, uh, yeah, his show Colourless Green Ideas is well worth a watch.